Yo, what's up? Welcome to MMA Island. I'm Slick Diaz, and today we'll be bringing you a reaction video. Uh, this video I'm giving a reaction to is brought to you and provided by The Mac Life, which is brought to you by Proper 12 Irish Whiskey. And this project video uh, reaction is brought to you by, like I said, Slick Diaz and MMA Island. So make sure to like, subscribe, share, overshare, buy some shares, listen to share. Um, yeah, the video we will, re we will be reacting to today is Sean Strickland's Media Day heading into his fight with Jack Hermanson this weekend. Uh, the headline is Sean Strickland details Kevin Holland running. We'll go to a parking lot and do the man dance. Uh, I'm already you know, thrilled by that kind of title. What wordsmanship. Let's let's just hop into it. Make sure to... I wish I had some graphics like ding! Subscribe. Whatever. We'll hire a graphics team eventually. Volume up. The talent can't be the production I'm just, I'm just jokes I I do I try to do it all but I do it all like 65 70 percent good all right let's do it let's hit it Sean what's life like these days man it's like you're the uh the UFC's oh we both got coffee man. it's getting all kinds of attention I don't know, life's good, man. Life's fucking good, dude. Fucking, I sit at home, I spar, like, you know, I'm fucking, I'm not broke. That's fucking nice. I don't know how much you guys make, but not being broke sucks, dude. Hey, it's really great, I'm you know? broke. That's fucking nice, man. Chill out, Sean. You guys probably, you know, you guys probably look broke. You guys are, you guys are, you guys are fucking in the media. Hey! We all, got, you, we all got into this. Unless your body. name's fucking Weinstein, bro. I mean, you know, like, media kind of struggles a little bit. Uh, so listen, it's funny because right, like, I feel like you kind of avoided the attention for a long this time. This dude is you just... Enjoy, but it seems like you're kind of... He's an it enigma. Now, so change, and you're like, that's not so bad. No, you know what it is? You know what it is? Like, I'm getting to a point where I can say shit and not get cut from the UFC, you know? So before, it's like, oh, man, I wasn't good. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't say shit because Dana White would be like, hey, go fuck that white trash motherfucker. Get him out of here. But now, since I'm getting a little bit more, like, you know, fan base, people want to watch the fight, I can say a lot more offensive shit, so it's nice. Okay, Sean. You were actually conscious about it growing up? Like, dude, if I open my mouth, oh. I'm not going to like what I have to say. Fuck yeah, man. Every every coach or manager I ever had, like, Sean, shut up. They're not going to sign you. Like, yep. shut up. They don't want that. They want an image. And then, like, it's you true. know, now I'm just going to be the white trash motherfucker that I am. Nice. <laughs> the old reputation was you were the asshole that nobody wanted to train with because you was fine. Now you're the, the white trash guy. Is that, like, a better reputation? I mean, I'm still no one wants to train with me, but, you know, like, I mean, I don't, okay, I say I'm not white trash. Just because I grew up without fucking bathroom doors, you know? Like, I grew up in, like, a middle-class house. Been there. Like, oh, we just have doors. Like, we weren't white trash. I mean, we were, no. We were, like, you know, like, the neighborhood, there's always that one white trash fucking house everybody avoids. Like, there's always cop cars in the front. I relate to this. fucking broken. Like, that was us, but I was missing four. Have you gotten any uh, homemaking tips since you, did, you debuted your episode? Mm, good Pretty question. Um, decorating advice, maybe, or... Great question, John Morgan. I usually give John Morgan shit. Decorations and clothes and cars. Guys only fucking do it to get laid. Dave Chappelle has a great skit, dude. He talks about, like, he talks about, like, if a guy could fucking chick in a cardboard box and fucking do it. The only reason why any of you fucking people wake up. I never heard that skit. Fucking European haircut or Australian haircut. So fucking women, dude. If that wasn't the case, you wouldn't have a couch. You wouldn't have a fucking bed. You'd be sleeping on a fucking mattress in a fucking cave somewhere. It's true. Listen, you guys, you guys are all just a bunch of manipulated, you know, chasing the pussy too much. Calm down. So. <laughs> Dude, this guy is a loose like, kid and says know, whatever the fuck he wants. Like My favorite Sean He's moment is still him. I mean, are, are you John Morgan, I'm trying to talk. Lessons or opportunities? I mean, is it a comfortable spot? What, what do you think? I don't know, dude. Like, you know, I obviously think that I'm a fucking prostitute for the UFC. So it's like, I like that they give me money, but like... I'm not going to sit here and wear a suit and think I'm anything other than just a dog fighter. I mean, in the day, we, get, we lock in the cage, we punch each other in the face, we try to kill each other, we make so many millions, and we get paid fractions of that. Which I'm not hating. I love my job. I love what I get paid. But come on. Love my job. We're not doing anything special. You guys watch us. We're like a fucking circus. We're like pornography. It's something you, you like, you want to fucking, you know, you want to jerk off to, but you don't necessarily want to do. Okay. <laughs> I've not done that to a fight, I appreciate it. Uh, listen. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, right, uh, John Jack Morgan. Jack his opponent. But what, what do you make of him as a fighter? Oh, man, I, he, he said he's going to finish me in one round on his knees. I fucking, I was going to say, what do you guys know? He's going to finish me. What do you guys tell you? That's you funny. Yeah, he's going to later today. No, no, Jack, Jack is a good guy. What, they call him the Joker? How does that even happen? How, why is he called the Joker? Because it's small. Oh, that's fucking gay. I thought he was more of like, I want to fucking burn down the world, Joker. I, at the moment, when he first actually did, I was like, dude, me and this guy, we might have some shit in common. We might be a fellow fucking, like, destructive maniac. And then once I got to know him, like, he's a really nice, happy guy. Fuck this guy. You're not my, you're not my friend. <laughs> you ain't like, Sean only wants to hang out with angry about, people. The elite of the division is all that's left to face, right? I mean, are you looking at any of those names? Does it feel past their tour? I mean, what, what are you looking for? I mean, ideally, ideally, Brunson beats uh, Cannoneer. Maybe I could, like, if I do an impressive performance, I could, you know, dump and dodge and get a title shot. That'd be, uh, that'd be the perfect world. But at the end of the day, man, I'm just here to fight and make some money. But yeah, if I get a title shot, fuck okay, yeah, let's go. I'll make fun of the style bender's fucking titty all day long. Will that mean something to you, a title, or is it just about the, the money that comes along with that? I mean, it's Dude, really that's weird. been getting a lot of coverage like, again. You know, if they want to fight for fucking ribbon and Gino Gate. Gate. Yeah, like, it'd be cool to do, but at the end of the day, man, like, it's a fucking, it's, it's fake. It's fucking fake, man. It's fake. You get to a point, so, like, you got to a point where you said I can say what Dude, I want. Dude, he's just when pounding that coffee. Like, you can say what you want, or you have to be careful, because now you're representing the brand. No, it's even better now. I wonder how he drinks it. I can go full, like, Conor McGregor. I can go fucking hit a little guy in a bar, fucking throw a fucking, throw a, try to fucking assault Khabib's manager, Ali. <laughs> you know, it's fucking even better, dude. Right, last thing for me. Another sip of coffee. Wow. I feel like I'm doing more like a character, like, deep dive analysis than a reaction video. Like, I want to go in there and have a fucking blown up fucking bloodbath, dude. Like, you know, and like, oh, man, I just, I want to fucking, they're killing me, too. Like, there's nothing worse than being in a fight than getting me falling in fucking pussy. I'd rather fucking lose a fight on my back than go in there and be like, oh, I fell in pussy, and I'm like, you know. Another, another sip of coffee. The the lack of idle hands is pretty indicative of what's going on in someone's. Don't talk to me about behavioral traits. Don't talk to me. I'm a pillager. Like you know, like I, I like I will cross any moral lines. Like I, I don't think that the morality exists in my brain. So why the fuck am I named after a busy character? I was younger, had long hair, and everyone's like, oh, well, oh Tarzan. You know, I watch fucking Disney movies, suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I watch Disney movies, suck my dick. Oh, yeah, no. Do you think that has anything to do with the fact that to flush your toilet, you have to physically <laughs> shove your hand into it? <laughs> been there, Sean. Guys, I call maintenance. I've been there, Sean. We're gonna get that shit handled, bro. We're gonna get that shit handled. Literally. Hey, you know what, man? If a girl can't handle a white trash, I mean, why make an English? I should go buy a fucking Hey, you gotta stay true to yourself like that. That's true. Okay, somebody show this guy's fucking haircut. Will you post this fucking Hey, stop pointing at me, bro. By the way, if you want to pull it all work, if it is. I love gay men. Gay men are awesome. Lesbians, not so much. Lesbians hate me. Lesbians look at me like the guy that hurt them. I'm not the guy. I'm not your father. But gay men, gay men look at me like they want to fuck me. And I respect that. Sean Strickland, Strickland and dick pics. Did uh, Jack come out to see you after sparring? Oh, fuck yeah, I walked in the gym, so I sparred Tuesday, it was like a hard session. Dude, I'm having all these like fresh meat rushes. Like, Dude, with how gravelly his voice is, he's gotta drink espresso black. <laughs> So I walk he's got really white walk teeth, though. I'm all hunched over, fucking sore. He's like all upright, like fucking, you know, all Swedish, good looking guy. Yes, that wasn't my fucking proudest moment. Why does Kevin Holland not like you? Oh, Kevin Holland. He's Kevin Holland. I don't. I think I told him I could rape him in prison one day and it bothered him. Let me stay in the facts, dude. I'm just staying the fucking facts, man. If me and you were in a jail cell together and I wanted to, like, I could take that ass. Uh, oh, no, I didn't. God, he, like, dude. he started, like, talking shit to me. Instagram, and I think I, I one-upped him by saying that, which I don't think is a one-up. I'm just, he fucked up things. So anyways, I see him at the PI the other day, and like, 
At least he's conscious that the shit he says is fucked up. I don't know if that's better. Quote of the year. So like Kevin Holland's one of those guys, but he sees me, he's scared, he's scared. And no, and it's fair, he's a very tall, scary black man. A part, of, a, part of, a part of him scares me, but I could look at him and say, Kevin Holland, you scare me, I'm okay with that, I allow myself to feel, I'm not, a, I'm not scared of feelings. Wow. I still take you out in the fucking parking lot. Emotionally yeah. in-depth Strickland, new mythical fighter. I was like, Kevin, listen, man, I don't need money, you just fucking, you just walk out these fucking doors, let's go. And he was like, fuck that, I'm right here. I'm like, He's, he's scared to feel. Kevin Holland, you call me, dude. We can, we can talk about your feelings. I got you. Don't be, don't be scared. <laughs> Mate, in the video of you showing the house around, uh, there's a bit where you just picked up various guns. You feel like one day that video will be used as an advertisement for gun control. Uh, you know, man, if I ever killed somebody, like, realis realistically, I would hate to use a gun. Like, honestly, how impersonal is that to shoot someone? Like, that's that should have been the headline. Like, ideally, ideally, when I fantasize about killing somebody, I think it... No, no, you tell me you never fast fast. Like, you never laid in bed at night and said, what if Scott killed my hair cut gay once? Never, never. Uh, <laughs> but I listen, I see Good, good you never, banter, never, lad. You never wanted to kill one person in your life ever. Don't fucking lie to me, you fucking liars. Every human being on this fucking planet has thought some boss or somebody that fucked their girlfriend thinks that in bed. Like, I would like to kill this motherfucker. It's all normal. You guys are no better than me, especially maybe you with a gay fucking haircut. Dude, but, enough. <laughs> Kids, it's not true. All right, it's not true. <laughs> Don't listen to Sean Strickland in that regard. All right, the man's done. Chest hair out. Oh. And the, the proper 12 ad at the end is muted. All right, what do we think? Uh, Sean Strickland got a lot to say. No filter, all base, all trouble. Uh, I'd be lying if I said he wasn't entertaining as hell, though. I saw somebody say that Sean Strickland is a breath of fresh air in the MMA community, and I think that's pretty accurate. Uh... I, I don't necessarily approve of some of the shit he says, but what am I going to do? What am I going to tell Sean Strickland? I think that he has a cap on it for the most part, which is nice and responsible of him. I think he, uh, I don't know. I know some people who train with him personally, um, and they tell me he's a wild guy. I still think he kind of leans into it a little bit, but you can tell. He's got a couple screws loose in like, and I think it's, I don't want to say endearing, but it's intriguing. I think that he does a good job standing out and being a uh, unique fighter for some f fight fans to, uh, you know, attach to. I think that he's definitely fucking hilarious. First off, he says some of the funniest shit ever. What did he say? He said... Oh, it's in the that's in the headline. We'll go to the parking lot and do the man dance. That is gold. But yeah, I think that he's talking all that shit about hair. If he grew out a little hair, I think it would help his image. I definitely don't think he should change his nickname to Hate from Tarzan. Like Tarzan, it's fine. He's bald, but he's got like these thick hairy arms. He's crazy man. He just walks forward and like. I thought Tarzan was a fine name. He hates it. I hate hate. So I think hate's a bad nickname. Um, yeah, definitely don't change your nickname to hate, Sean Strickland. But keep being you. Don't kill anybody. Please don't be one of these fighters that, uh, you know, we watch a fucking documentary on in a bad way in 10 years, 20 years. Um no, I think that he kind of leans into it a little bit. I think he's definitely psycho brain, mate. But I also think that uh, he's a little smart about how he navigates it. Like he said with his coaches, he said that he um, 
you know, they were like, they don't want that. They want an image. But they also want something to pop. And I think Sean Strickland does that. I'm really excited for this fight. Sean Strickland's on a hell of a hell of a win streak. I think he came back from like a motorcycle accident or something. And then ever since then has been on a hell of a win streak. Or maybe the motorcycle thing was before the Kamaru. Regardless, he's on a nice streak. Jack Hermanson is tough everywhere the fight goes. I rate Hermanson very highly. I think he's technically very skilled. I think that he's tough. I think he's unorthodox. I think he's tricky. But I think Sean has a head made out of, uh, you know, fucking gaskets or something, man. Like, he's got fucking metal engine clanks in his head. Like, if you hit him with a wrench, you'd be like, oh, yeah. So, um, I think his volume could definitely pose Jack a lot of issues. People have been saying that Jack struggles with pressure fighters, and I haven't reviewed the tape, but, you know, going back and, like, trying to... I guess I'd agree. Uh, Strickland's losses are to Ponzinibbio, Kamaru Usman, and... Uh, it's another striker. Um, now I gotta look it up. Can't leave you on a on a cliffhanger that doesn't even give you like the info. Uh, no record. Sean Strickland criminal record. No, but his UFC portrait does look like a mugshot. Hey, if any of you are able to talk to Sean Strickland at the end of the month, make sure to tell him happy birthday. It's February 27th is his birthday. Uh, he's going to be 31, but that does not matter. Let's see. Oh, he lost to uh, EZ, ZDS. I forget what they call him, but Elijah Zaleski Dos Santos. Um, talented guy. But Sean Strickland, his recent run has been Nordin Taleb, Jack Marshman, which is my favorite moment of his. Brendan Allen, Christoph Jocko, Uriah Hall. He's piecing it together, man, for real. We've got a performance bonus against Brendan Allen. Probably should have got one versus Jack Marshman, too. That was such a thrill. Um, yeah, enjoy the fights. Make sure to like, subscribe, and, you know, hop on the wave. It's MMA Island. Thank you.